Wait, I didn't come here to fight. Then you should not have come at all. But our clash may have to wait. Oh, this train. May you catch on quickly. I have business further ahead. But I find myself at odds with the powerful witchery driving these carriages. Surely nothing a man of your ability cannot handle. <laughs> I already conducted a search inside. But there is an area I cannot pass because of the sorcery it requires. Ah. Well, it just so happens I have business ahead as well. Does this mean we have a truce? For now. What? your thanks. I didn't do it for you. Fine. But I owe you all the same. You are a fierce one, Shardbinder Miriam. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dominique, what are you doing here? Looking for Zangetsu. Have you seen him? Yes. We fought together aboard the train. Perhaps I misjudged his intentions. What? Zangetsu was with you. But that's... Is something wrong? I asked him to go to the underground sands, but he must have chosen to disregard that request. If you see him again, would you ask him to report back to me? All right. Alfred could spring a trap on any one of us at any time. I hope Zangetsu gets his priorities straight. Thank you, Miriam. And stay safe.
Another message arrow has arrived from Zangetsu in this chamber where the bell tolls. Seek the demon woman basking in blood. A female vampire, perhaps? Hmm. Vampires drink blood. They don't bask in it. Wait, there's more. The room was an ocean of gore. From some grisly battle, perhaps. And if I'm reading this right, the demon he spoke of was able to instantly collect this blood without laying hand or lips on it. Well, that means even the slightest wound in her presence would put me in danger. She won't be easy to defeat. You had best go in prepared.
to see me, have you? Oh, Miriam, what are you doing here? I ought to ask you the same. I commanded you to leave this place. I cannot. I gave Jebel my word, and I intend to keep it. Very well. This sigil was not meant for you, but we are far enough from the castle that it can contain you here. Goodbye, Miriam. Stand down! Dash of the... you have is even greater than I imagined. I must get back the book. That will never happen. I have to make it happen. I have waited too long for this chance. Our last chance. Learn to jump in midair. There are still places in the castle I can't reach. Even Zangetsu must be scratching his head. What? But I heard Zangetsu had developed the ability to fly. Uh, what? Here, he sent a message arrow. In the searing hot caves, seek the strange demon. Strange demon? That's it? He says he saw the demon falling up. I'm not sure I understand, but it sounds like finding that demon is my best lead. I agree. Now, is there anything else you need? Dominique? And Alfred? This was your proposal, Exorcist. Explain yourself. I should have been there. But you broke your word as well when you laid that trap for me. I wasn't about to allow the book to fall into your hands. <laughs> Why would I want it? Revenge, perhaps? For your parents. Someone has been putting ideas in your head. <sighs> Miriam! Huh? No, wait! Oh. I would have preferred you not see that. So the trap Alfred laid was for you? Yes, and that's why I sent Zangetsu to deal with it. 
He has the power to stop Alfred from teleporting. I thought he might be able to contain Alfred, while we dealt with our bigger problems here. It makes sense. But what was all that about your parents? Revenge? <sighs> I don't want you to get the wrong idea. So I suppose I had better tell you. My parents were exorcists. Like me, but during the demon outpouring ten years ago. They were killed in battle. So I have my reasons for hating demons. And that accursed book. I'm so sorry. You must hate us all for it. I let go of the hatred years ago. All that matters now is that I gain control of the Liber Logayath and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. All right. I'll help you. Thank you. I'll do all I can for you in return.
been waiting for you, Miriam. The Shardbinders should be struck from existence. Is that it? Correct. But I am here to test you, not end you. I have no quarrel with you, Zangetsu. Perhaps not. But Carnage is the language I speak. If we are to come to an understanding, this is how we do it. Now, fight as if your life depended on it. me to fight as if my life depends on it when you are clearly not. <laughs> you could tell. With your skill, you could have destroyed me in a heartbeat. I have a gift for you. What are you doing? My sword. The Zangetsuto. I came to England in pursuit of a demon named Gremory. Only by that blade may she be cut down. Gremory? That's the demon that attends Jeeple. But why give the sword to me? I've tried making contact with Gremory. But I have yet to cross paths with her even once. You think she's avoiding you? She must be. And surely you have noticed, that man you are after, Jeebel? Gremory is controlling him. <sighs> but, her hold on him is not absolute. Perhaps you have seen signs. A moment of weakness. A diminishing of his resolve. Yes, when I faced him on the galleon. Good. That means your ties to Jeebel are still stronger than Gremory's. And she knows it. Which means she will not allow Jeebel to be alone with you. When she appears, use that blade and cut her down. But wait, why not come with me and do it yourself? Because if she fears me more than she fears relinquishing Jeebel, then we risk losing her. I will have my vengeance on her. Even if it means parting with the sword. And there is something else I need to clear up while you deal with Gremory. All right. I will finish what you started. What I started? <laughs> I am certain you will. At it early. So, what'll it be? Zangetsu said Jeebel is being controlled by a demon named Gremory. Gremory? Of the 72 demons? I knew Jeebel wasn't a monster. He's possessed by one. 
then there's a good chance we can free him. I'll do whatever it takes. So will I, but Gramery, oh, this explains so much. Jeebel could never have accomplished something this heinous with his crystal alone. Now adding Gramery's power to his, well, uh, that pushes it into the realm of possibility. Uh, uh, sorry, I, once I start theorizing, I, I can't be stopped. What took you so long? Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten, then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. <laughs> Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. But there was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. As you wish. It's time to free you of this once and for all. Next time, obey. Ha! At last, the Lieber Logaiath is mine! Think again. Miriam, I've... I've missed you. I knew you were in there. I knew it. You kept your promise. Thank you. What's going on? No, the corruption shouldn't spread this fast. It's... it's better this way. The world can be rid of me. But this... this castle... We can't allow it to... Shh, I know. I know I'll destroy it. But you're going to live, Jibo. <laughs> I'm glad. my friend. Are you ready, Johannes? I am if you are. Yes. I have a new promise to keep. If you plan to destroy the castle, you won't be able to do it without the Lieber Logaiath. Then I need to track down Alfred. Gremory will be after him too. Tracking Gremory might be faster. The moon, you mean? I'll try it. <laughs> 